What the f no is that? You might have heard of Twin Peaks. If that's the case, the character Laura Palmer was inspired by the girl who was murdered right here. Like any small town in America, Sand Lake has its secrets. 150 miles north of New York City, its serene mountain setting is an ideal escape from chaos and crowds, or a good place to murder. Join us on the cold back roads of Taberton Mountain to investigate the murder of Hazel Drew. There's a car coming. I hope they don't pull over and ask us if we are okay. We're fine. Everything's good. What happened at this spot is an unsolved murder from 1908. Hazel Irene Drew, just 20 years old in 1908, was walking alone on Taberton Road on the evening of July 7th. Four days later, her body was discovered floating face down in Teal's Pond, a small body of water near the bottom of the mountain. While there were many suspects and several theories as to Hazel's death, her killer was never convicted. Twin Peaks co-creator Mark Frost spent summers as a kid in Sand Lake, New York. The stories of Hazel's death and subsequent stories of her restless spirit haunted him enough to inspire the creation of Twin Peaks in the 1990s. As for Hazel Drew's murder... To this day, no one knows who her killer was. What's really awful is that her body was found face down so decomposed that she could only be identified by her clothing, belongings, and the gold fillings in her teeth. She was hit from behind, bludgeoned, before she went into the pond. Driving a little fast for this. Now, we brought Stacy because she's from this mountain. You might have seen her on Destination America and what, Travel Channel as well? Travel Channel, National Geographic, and History Channel. We were on a show together looking for Bigfoot back in the day. Now you know! <laughs> Did we find it though? No, Bigfoot. we found a lot of cold though. I remember that being cold as well. <laughs> Hazel Irene Drew was last seen at 7.30 p.m. on this mountain walking alone. And this was 1908, so... As Traffic 20, was a lot slower then. <laughs> there weren't too many cars and... <laughs> so it was the middle of summer. She did see two people on the road, Frank Smith, a 17-year-old who knew her and kind of fancied her, and also another man who was a coal peddler who, who they greeted each other, they went on, and they were the last people to witness seeing her. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to contact the spirit of Hazel Drew. Let's try to find her. I looked through the GPS and this is uh, Horse Heaven Brook. Uh-huh. This follows parallel to where Teal Pond is, which is up here on the right-hand side. So it is probably set back in the woods a bit. Okay. So, if we, so we may not have actual access to the actual pond itself. Yeah, right. And the other thing is in this weather, <clears throat> if we go down there, we might die. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not prepared for that. But we have our cameras, we have our gear, and we're gonna go see if we can't reach out to something or someone said to haunt this mountain. What do we have on here? 35.7. Same as Billy Tolly. If anybody comments, Asking why, I will tell you. Tell me. I'm not sure. Because <laughs> it's an EMF meter because it makes a lot of noise. Ah. You want that guy? I'll hold it. We're here to speak with Hazel Irene Drew. We heard about what happened to you. Alright, Ryan has got out the spirit box. She's growing up here? Nobody ever talked about it. Nobody, I That's never heard weird. a word. I never heard it. That's weird though. Anywhere, like the whole entire mountain pretty much was part of my family's property at one point or another, but due to taxes, they had to uh, sell portions of it off, which is pretty much how it got split up the way it did, but. Did you hear a hay there? I did. I did. Or a hazel. Hazel, who did this to you? This is, are they from here? Were they from here or were they passing through? Were they travelers? Did you hear travelers? 
Yeah. Whoa. Who's the man that keeps talking? It's the same freaking voice. Sir, did you kill Hazel? Do you know who did? <laughs> Me too. I, I mean, I know. I wasn't going to say it, but I thought I heard it. I didn't even mention this. One of the suspects was her uncle, who was recently widowed when it occurred and was morose and apparently depressed and suicidal. And he was one of the main uh, suspects. Oh. Okay. An incest, perhaps, huh? Uh, something that I picked up earlier today before I, like on my drive here, was that she was pregnant. So I don't know if that was something that anybody back then would have done an autopsy for, but... Mm. Not I think if it was too early to tell. That's pretty heavy. Did it say Acura like the car or accurate? I thought it said accurate, but that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same voice in your sweeps past. Yep. That's what always gets my attention with this thing. Yeah. Even if the person that murdered her was not from around here, I think that somebody from here had something to do with it. Oh, okay. Like maybe it was like a hired kind of oh. a thing. Which would make a lot of sense with that uncle if there was an issue. If there was something. How old it? If there was something. How If there was something. How old if there was some... How old was she? She was 20. She was born in 1888. Okay. Mm. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Hazel, yeah. you probably haven't had too many people that have tried to come up and talk to you. I mean, like I said before, growing <laughs> up here and not hearing anything about this, it's almost like they kind of swept it under the rug. Is that what happened? That is pretty crazy. Hazel, did you know the person that murdered you? A little bit of a female thing here and there. There's that voice again. It's a damn, yeah. It's a deep man's voice. Heard it about seven times now. There it is again. Yep, it's the same voice. Who are Killer. we communi- I just heard killer on that. Who was the killer of Hazel Drew? We want for you to have some closure and some peace, and we want you to rest, and obviously you're not. So, tell us. I can't. Why can't you tell us? Either there's like ten, 10 male DJs talking at the same time on 10 different stations, or we're getting the same person. These woods kind of creep me out, I'm not going to lie. A little bit. Yeah. There's just yeah. enough light. Really just enough light to fucking throw some shadows. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of unsolved murders in upstate New York. Surprise, surprise. And that is so... <laughs> We then drove along some snowy back roads up to a higher portion of the mountain to see if we could communicate with whatever was there from a different vantage point from the murder scene. I was gonna say, can we put the camera on the truck and then we have some extra hands? All right, now point the direction where Teal's Pond is. Teal's Pond will be that direction. So it's over there. All right. So this girl was walking on Taberton Road by herself when everything went down. Should we do another spirit box session? I was going to suggest that, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the only thing we're going to be able to help. hear. That's, that's there you go. Whoa, is that ours making it go off? Try it again. So that's a significant, the blinking like that is a significant temperature drop. I think it's within 10 degrees within a span ah. of like five seconds, three seconds, something like that. Must be figuring itself yeah. out a little.
Are you touching that thing? You can speak too, we can hear you. Go ahead, ask about a serial killer. I know you want him. I don't know. How many did you kill? I feel like you're here too. How many women did you kill? Four. Same way. Four, same way. Really? So who are the other two, you psycho? Come back and talk to you in the summer. No. Oh, no. No. Oh my fucking god. I got chills. And that sounded like a very depressed girl. Hazel. He cannot hurt you or hold you anymore. You have the power for him to be gone. Is he keeping you from speaking to us right now? Something me. I can't feel my foot nubs anymore, Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather just the girls came back and talked to you? That's amazing That was there. weird. I didn't expect much here, but uh, wow. <laughs> right, that was... If not Hazel or her killer, then who or what might we have interacted with? And did we interact with something or someone at all?